Shalom, shalom, my brothers and sisters of the so-called Black Native Hispanic Society that makes up the 12 tribes of Israel. You should already know who you are. And if you don't, it's time for you to wake up from this sleep state and finally take things into consideration. Excuse me, I had to turn my uh, gigantic industrial fan off right quick so I can get myself heard on my own channel and video. I am currently blocked from live for three months, three months, yeah, because of the fact that they, a uh, disgruntled, decrepit white man or woman decided to discover my profile and flag it because of the thing I have stated. Now, the video I stated within the title, I hate and despise white people. And it's an interesting thing I've, t I've typed because, you know, if you f if you support freedom of speech, you should also support the fact that I have the literal right to hate you. Yeah. And so do you toward me. And you've been using that right toward me. Do you see me on your page flagging it down? No. This is what I got to put up with. Mostly. You know the people I've seen a meme on Instagram posted once before on how the people that hate you the most pay you the most attention. They're the ones who pay me the most attention. Yeah. They understand that they're dealing with someone who is not only scripturally intellectual, environmentally intellectual, economically intellectual, but as well as racially intellectual. I know who you are. You also know who you are. You don't want the rest of our people to find out the secrets as to who and what they are as well. That's why you still proceed to call them niggers and niggas. Porch monkeys, coons, and anything in between. What I also find interesting is that you flagging my video down for hate speech, but you don't flag out, excuse me, flag down your government, your United States Constitution, which states in a unclassified document that a Negro native Hispanic is three fifths of a human being in your constitution. This is literally in your files. And it is, like I said, unclassified. You can freely go to your, to your government website and look this up. I'm not making this up. It's just, it's just there. It's there. Even Alex Jones touched on it. <laughs> you, you, you think I'm just making this up? This is why the majority of our Hebrew brothers and sisters are on the streets. Excuse me, majority of our brothers, but also sisters making videos on YouTube talking about this. Now, it wouldn't, it, if it wasn't, if it didn't exist, it would never be a topic in the first place. I mean, of course we understand the, the basic nigga syndrome whenever you're reaching and you're trying to get attention for the most part and you're making up stories to get notice or to get views or any attention in the first place, you know, DNA, like Brother Tommy Sotomayor touches about. But this is reality. This is 100% reality. This has been around since forever. This is something that, I mean, not I wouldn't say it's forever because it's been around for since the founding of the United States of America. Even though the founding of the United States of America was based off of the, the enslavement, the enslavement, excuse me, off the backs of our Negro, Native, or Hispanic ancestors, and still off of the enslavements of our people today. Because we're still slaves, I am the slave in this nation, or excuse me, in this country, because a nation makes, makes up of who you are via the forefather. And our forefather is Jacob, or Yaqua, Yasha'ala, in the Bible. And the forefathers of the so-called, excuse me, forefather of the so-called white race, even though they're not white at all, going back to what I've previously mentioned, you know, they're in the book of Genesis, chapter 25, verse 25, a red people, hairy people on top of that, 
a decrepit, disgusting people who likes to eat raw meats. This is a trait that they have been they have been exercising ever since biblical times. It's literally stated in the Bible as to what they do. Excuse me, my phone is going out of control here. See, this is the reason why I need to <laughs> I need to watch my subscriptions. I'm subscribed to so many people that whenever I want to make specific videos like this, I suddenly do -do -do. <laughs> it just keeps happening. I need to also find out a way to change that that jingle too. It also gets annoying at the time, especially when I'm at work too. But anyway, back to the topic of the matter. Yeah, our people, you know, our people are still enslaved today. If they think they're free, and in fact they do think they're free. You can't even leave the border without an ID, passport, or a permit. I'm sorry, Negro, Native, or Hispanic. Hell, you can't even go into the country even if you lived outside. And for the most part, this land belonged to you in the first place. It never belonged to these Caucasian, K-Beast, Demon, Shea, Mole, Rat-looking, lipless, monkey people. It never belonged to them in the first damn place. They know that. The only native land that they have is Mount Seir. Now, if you go into Hebrew language and you find out the definition of seer, or what seer really means, it's actually devil or demon. Yeah, these are demon walking amongst us, pretending to be civil. Okay, so you don't believe me, I'll tell you what, you brothers and sisters, you can feel free to go and search up the Hebrew language, and it's going to take you a while to understand the meanings here and there, and to get to the etymology as to what things mean. It's going to take you about a good year or so, sure, but you're still going to get that knowledge nonetheless. It's going to smack you in the face. You're going to look like, wow, this guy wasn't lying. Yeah, it's there. This is the reason why there are policemen, these Roman, or excuse me, modern day Roman soldiers of today, they who are in disguise as the United States of America's policemen and centurions is who they are as well because we know centurions in the Bible have been known for rape, robbery, and, excuse me, rape, robbery, and murder. This is what classifies and what was the pinnacle of the so called white race of people in the first place this is what they are known to be doing this is what they have been doing and they will not stop doing until they are wiped off of the face of the planet and this is what must happen in order for the earth to be a a peaceful prestigious and a paradise there is something that must be done in order for these events to happen the plague must be purged what must be purged at this point in time so-called white people I'm looking at you right now because going back to the book of Job and I'm going to bring it up right here at this very time And here we go with the book of Job, chapter 9, verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the, wick, of the wicked, excuse me. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? So if we're not talking about the so-called white race or the white man who is literally running the show, running television, running presidency, running the Senate, running the House, this is what they're doing I don't see no black men up there in control and sure you might want to say well there's Obama Obama's a Hamite and if you look as to who the Hamites are there is Ham Shem and Yafeth we are from the Shem line we're Shemitic so are the Edomites they're also Shemitic too so before any of you individuals 
excuse me, Edomite individuals pop up on my page and call me anti-Semitic, you're also telling me that I hate myself too. You dumb Caucasus Mountain beast. Yes, you're Semitic as well. I am Semitic as well. You are from the Shemite line. So am I. Uh, however, based off of prophecy, which has been stated in that particular book of Genesis that I've mentioned, you have sold your birthright to us. You are, you are also the spirit of Cain reborn. You are the spirit of Cain reborn in the form of a man called Esau, who then were the, um, excuse me, is the, the patriarch, that's the word I was looking for, excuse me, it's late at night, so of course I can't think straight. He, who is the actual patriarch of the so-called Edomites, because his name was also Edom, Idumia in the Greek language, which means red. It means red specifically because he is a red man. If you look at so-called white people today, whenever their skin gets irritated at a certain degree, it gets red. This, you can't deny, it doesn't matter what you do. Because you see it in your face. Prior to you knowing this knowledge, you should be able to have the gall, excuse me, the adulthood, the understanding, the, the common sense enough to stay away from them. I don't know why our people love to gravitate toward white people so much. What does white people, well, excuse me, so-called white people like doing so much to the point where our people want to wrap their arms around them. But whenever it comes to a so-called black native or Hispanic brother or sister, what the fuck this nigga looking at, man? I don't give a shit about you, man. Nigga, you ain't nothing, man. You a broke ass nigga. That's, that's what I see all the time. You're superficial, you're materialistic, you're not spiritual, you're carnal as hell, you're simple as hell. And I didn't want to say this, but would it have been proven to me that so-called blacks, natives, and Hispanics are actually born retarded? Well, we already know how retarded Edomites are. I mean, you know, look how the, the lifestyle they live. They didn't even know how, excuse me, these so-called white people didn't even know how to even bathe. We taught them how to bathe. But our people, despite knowing the truth, understanding the truth, seeing the truth, you decided to live your life as a lie. That is called cognitive dissonance. Look it up. You've been your worst enemy for the past over millennium millennia excuse me yeah is it is possible for negroes natives and hispanics to be their worst enemy after being so powerful and spoiled by the heavenly father literal creator of this plane <laughs> i mean you've been so spoiled with strength that you think you could do anything and everything with with unwarranted results and then the heavenly father's like hold on no -uh, big fella you still got these law, statutes, and commandments you got to follow. And our people was like, man, forget them laws, man. I got my own laws. And you know what the Most High did? Look at us now. Mm-hmm. This is why I'm glad... This is why I'm glad the brothers... If ISUPK, excuse me, ISUPK, the Sakari sect, HOI, AOC, HODC, the camp, even Tommy Sotomayor, and uh, Charlemagne the God, he's, he's sometimes wishy washy. He'll talk about it at times, but then at the same time, he would kind of. He has an audience he wants to oppress. Oh, excuse me, I said oppress, impress. He wants to impress his audience for ratings and 
for for the generation excuse me the uh, what's the word I'm looking for to to obtain a specific amount of money within his bank account I mean of course you, you have to get paid you have to do what you possibly can do to get paid but I can't use that as an excuse because I would also have to defend TD Jakes on that matter too and TD Jakes is a straight up demon sure he's a so-called black man as well but he is a demon nonetheless anybody who prophesies deceits even if they are of your own nation of people is a devil now devil doesn't mean a red man no of course not I've literally stated out of the Bible where the original red man is Edo, um, excuse me, Edom, or Esau, or the so-called white race, who you can see in your face that can just turn red whenever they're irritated. Yeah, you can see that. However, devil means deceiver. Yeah, you can deceive anybody, and then you can be called a devil, and that person will be right in doing that because that's in your face so yeah Charlemagne the God has some devil tendencies within him as well that's why he's generating a currency via how the so called white man has ruled this kingdom for the past over 400 and so years you know and Sometimes he's for black unity, at times he's he's just being a a literal hype jockey to cause chaos and destruction amidst our people when we're trying to uplift our people up. Because we're not militarily strong enough to even battle against our oppressors yet. The least of the things you will want to do is start a war within our people and their people when we are not even not not only we are not physically ready but we're not spiritually wet ready we're also not spiritually right yeah our people are all over the damn place following different doctrines and, and claiming that they're of a belief that was originated from the people that 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 were not I'm like okay so this Negro is calling himself a Buddhist that means you're Chinese then, right? He's like, nah, I, I'll just, I just like their religion, man. It just brings so much peace. I'm like, so does the Bible. And it's your book. And it states that it's your book. And it states that you are the person and people of the book. Why don't you want to follow that? Then you get into this distantly long, unnecessarily long discussion where the Negro wants to find an excuse why he can't follow the laws of that book, but apparently everything else is easy easy pickings for him or her this is why it was so easy to take away our power because our people actually are the first people to take away their own power you see in order for you to be to lose power you have to be infiltrated from within and before the so-called white men even existed our people have been infiltrating their very own organizations and their 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 institutionalized educational system for the past over 13,000 years what if I told you why did this guy join kick from raid and start battle <laughs> I don't know why people join so I probably because I took too long to even ready it up but um our people were the first ones to actually stab us in the back before anyone else actually did Of course, Cain, who was Esau's uh, primary form before he existed as Esau in the first place, were the first ones to kill us, knowing that we were still of the same kin. But he 
he was been he'd been killing us from day one. Ever since he killed, you know, he killed Abel. Then we had to be born from the Seth line because he killed Abel. people have a history of stabbing themselves in the back that's why we see so many of these so called pro black unions going on and what do we see in these pro black unions most of our brothers fighting amiss one another sisters pulling each other's hair out you know, tussling wrestling all going on in buildings you would expect that a pro-black union event going on our people would care a lot about each other regardless of the difference of opinion or or the information that one have learned now there's there's not much of that going on you know there's no embrace there's no unity there's not even a community i don't even see communication going on it's just i see your face i hate it let's get down that's it. That's all I see. What's the point of going there to a place of a unification based event when nobody wants to unify? That's, that's one of the main reasons why I stay by myself within the safety of my own quarters at times. And I'm being, I'm still being hated for Christ's sake too. Don't get me wrong, but <laughs> like, what is it going to take for our people to wake up? I don't know, but I see that they're finally beginning to understand as to who they are and what they have to do because they're at death's door now. Our people are getting hit with, I counted in the last video, six hurricanes. It's actually way more than that. Nah. Katia, Max, uh, uh, Harvey, uh, Irma, and then there's four different hurricanes that I literally, like, I'm looking at, I'm looking at the news, right, like, I think it was maybe three hours or four hours ago, I'm looking like, okay, so, What's the update on these hurricanes? They're like, there's more coming. I'm like, what the f <laughs> What the hell is going on? But then... <sighs> I gotta give you the scripture right quick. You gotta tell me exactly what you see based off of me mentioning it. Here's the book of Matthew chapters 7 and 26. I'm going to read down to 28. And everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not. Anyone, excuse me, everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not. What are these sayings that the Heavenly Father was talking about? These law, statutes, and commandments of this book shall be likened unto a foolish man who built his house upon the sand. Let's go further. In verse 27. And the rain descended, and the floods came. Isn't that what's going on down there in Texas? Let's keep going. And the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. 28. And it came to pass, when Jesus ended these things the people were astonished at his doctrine <laughs> our people really think this is a game man and it's really not 
It's really not. Even so-called white people know the truth. The only people that seemingly not know it are you so-called blacks, natives, or Hispanics. That's why they're taking down my videos. They would they don't want me to propagate the the hatred I spew against them. I mean it's nothing more than just me fighting back. I'm defending myself by saying I hate them. They hate me already, and I don't need to force it out of them. They just spontaneously say this out of nowhere. And I can see this in multiple different videos. You're a nigger, but I, I'm not racist. Okay, sure. All right. All right. Let's let's uh, let's pretend you didn't say that and say you're not racist on top of that. Oh, at the, at the same time, also, you know, the constitutional thing I mentioned, or you know, how you've divided your communities away from us, so you can live in lavish, uh, luxurious places while we are in the most shittiest condition of places where we can be. Now, granted, of course, you have the argument that'll. That is the winning argument to say something like, you know, our people have been proven to not really do anything for their society, and they really have. That's the truth. But who do you think they learned this this mindset from? Because going back to Tommy Sotomayor's original video where he made the 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 statement that the so-called white man is the original deadbeat dad. So, in the fatherly sense, how you have taught a specific people you have enslaved how to be a deadbeat, they are learning from you. Now, do you white people see this? I don't think you heard me. They have learned how to be a deadbeat from you. All you so-called black women that are mad at so-called black men of being deadbeats, let me tell you the real deal. They've learned it from your old granddaddy massa white boy who you like to love and worship who you like to look like each and every day with these hair hats looking like thoughts straight hair perming your hair dyeing your hair different colors calling yourself a mulatto and bleaching your skin looking like sammy sosa and Sammy Sosa looks like a shade groundhog. It's ridiculous, man. It's ridiculous. Now, I don't even really want to touch on Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj is a... is an exact definition of a race traitor. This woman should be put to death today. She should have been done... That should have been done yesterday. If we were in the Old Testament times, there'd be a lot of dead niggas today. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> there would be a bloodbath of dead so-called native, uh, excuse me, Negro, native Hispanics, man. I'm looking at a future bloodbath that, that is to uh, occur. Of course, there's the hurricanes that's constantly whooping your asses from left and right blowing you away from one city to the next yeah there's that but you got a lot more to come other than them hurricanes you you keep messing with the heavenly father i told you you think this is a game and this is it's not i'm trying to help you out so are the brothers that's out there telling you the truth holding up a mirror and saying hey this is what you're doing aren't you going to correct yourself from doing it and you're asking for the solution on top of that why are you asking for the solution whenever we're telling you the problem? And the solution would be to not proceed to to do what is problematic to our community in the first place. Whenever the solu excuse me, whenever the problem is presented to you via the actions that you are doing, it should also have the solution for it. If you're doing it and it's wrong, then the only solution you should look for is to stop doing it. That's my time in Shalom.